Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can scale our raw 4 to 20 milliamp value in ladder using the y equals mx plus b equation that we learned in the previous lesson along with a CPT compute statement. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. Now that's great and everything, but one, what is the 16 through 84? That's the next thing we need to figure out. And Rockwell has done so much of a better job. Used to, it was written in many of the PLCs. This is a knock in Rockwell. In many of them, it is a guessing match to figure out what these values are. But if we double click on this module here, it's gonna bring up the module properties. And then right here, we have the configuration tab. And if we look at it, here it is. Our low engineering is 3277. And our high engineering is 16,383. What we're going to use is what they call Y equals MX plus B. And when I say that, everybody's heard of it. And everybody kind of remembers it. But then it's like, all right, I really don't know what it is. So if we look, now that's a lot of numbers. And we did not come here to do math. We came in here to figure out how to do analog inputs. So what can we do with that? Is I'm going to highlight this now and I'm going to copy it. And we are going to go to our PLC program, open up our main routine. And then one, we could go to our math tab, compute math tab, and we could do a bunch of adds and subtracts. And in a lot of the older ones you could, or you would have to, but we're going to use this compute instruction here. Now notice I copied and pasted that. So now if I highlight this, I am just going to paste that equation right into our expression and then we need a destination and so I'm gonna make this actually I'm gonna show you how to do this in ladder function block and structured text so this is gonna be our scaled ladder all right and notice we got question marks there that means that we do have to create this so I'm going to right click it or you can hit control W and we're gonna create a new and then I'm gonna create this as a real why do I have red axis? Um, oh, okay. Well, let me hit the verify button so you can see this because I don't even know how this will show. Let's drag that up a little bit. And okay, compute and valid number arguments. And then we got opera and zealer. We got balance parentheses. And we got some craziness going on here because all our parentheses look balanced. But what I did is I, I made this, I was trying to make it easy for you to see in our initial thing so i put the commas in here it's not liking those commas so we got to get those out of there so i'm just going to go up here and we'll go into that and we'll take that comma out and we'll take that comma out we've got all the commas but oh, yeah so now yeah our red x is gone we're looking good but also, I am going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to make this scaled ladder dent. Whoops. So I'm going to make a second one of these. So this would be D-I-N-T, and I'm just going to create that. And I'm going to leave this as the default. It wanted a dent. We're going to create a dent for it. And I'm going to put that into the program. Um, okay, Matthew, so in the slick file, in RS Logix 500, there was an SCP instruction, scale with parameters. And so in Studio 5000, there isn't. You do use the compute, but stay tuned because in function block, yes, we do have a scale instruction. And so that probably would typically be my preferred way to do it. I always liken these to start off of ladder because most of the people watching are just a little more familiar with ladder and so i always try to in, in the end in these situations i try to show multiple ways that we can do it so we're going to show how yeah there's a scale instruction and function blocks work super easy but you're going to run into this you're going to see this and so that's why i like to do this that way you you'll get familiar with okay this number right here yeah all right i get it but okay let's see what we got now so first we're seeing a value look at there we got 20 milliamps and we have 20 milliamps in both of them and yeah if we look on our screen yeah we're showing 20 milliamps here i'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description till next time
Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And you two thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.